And new businesses and jobs could be coming to Park City after the City Council unanimously approved a resolution for a Star Bond District on Tuesday. As KSN's Mally Jones shows us, many surrounding areas, including Wichita, have benefited a great deal from similar projects. She joins us live from Park City tonight with that story. Mally? Jeff Emley, Tuesday's City Council vote was a step in the process to get a star bond district in Park City. The next step is to get approval from the state. If everything goes as planned, this area behind me could look a lot different. The resolution passed Tuesday designates the 48 acre area between 53rd Street and 61st Street as a star bond district in Park City. We work with people and that we bring people on board and that is where we're wanted to go with this. Park City's assistant city administrator says Park City is always looking for new developers to implement growth and that's what star bonds are meant to do. The state created the star bond program to ultimately fuel tourism and generate revenue. There are several uh, cities across the state a lot of star bond projects. It's just a good mechanism that the state has put into place to fund this type of development. Park City is looking to possibly add entertainment space, athletic space, or some new retail or restaurants to the area. Star bonds helped fund Wichita's Keeper of the Plains improvements, Riverfront Stadium, and the Striker Sports Complex. In Derby, it helped open Field Station Dinosaurs in 2018 and a new restaurant about a month ago. Part of it was to bring people to Derby. Um, you know, we want to bring sales tax to our community. Um, we want people to spend their money in Derby and help our economy. Goddard's Star Bond included a hotel, an Olympic quality swimming complex, and ball fields. If everything with the state goes as planned, there will be a public hearing on February 14th where developer, developers will present the project and they break ground this year. In Park City, Mally Jones, KSN News 3.